welcome back to my channel. I haven't really done like a little Q&A life update type of video in a while and I thought it would be really fun to do this in the form of a get ready with me. I also want to know what you guys are doing while you're watching this. So comment right now what you're doing. Are you getting ready for school? Are you eating? Are you taking a study break? Let me know because I want to know what you guys do while you watch my videos. My personal favorite thing to do is getting ready while I watch YouTube videos. This is typically how I would get ready for school if I want to like get cute. I'm gonna do my makeup, do my hair, pick out a cute outfit, all of that fun stuff. So I asked you guys to ask me questions on my Instagram story. So I'm gonna be answering those. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, it's just at McKenna Salazar. So I'm starting off with the Super Goop Glow Screen. There's a lot of like similar questions that you guys asked. So I'll kind of just like group them all together. A lot of you guys asked what it's like living alone. And I actually wouldn't know because I don't live alone. I have a roommate and she is one of my best friends. Her name is Rachel. By the way, I'm now using my e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. Yeah, so I do not live alone. I met Rachel in the dorms last year. I don't know if I would ever live alone. That just really scares me. I think I would be fine, but I just don't see myself ever doing that. I'm now using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I just put a little bit on the back of my hand. Now I am going to blend this out. I use this brush from e.l.f. I don't know what the name of it is, but I love it because it's double-sided. I get so much use out of this brush. I use it for literally everything. I don't know if I'm supposed to do that, but I do. A lot of you guys are also asking me tips to be more productive or how to stay motivated. I actually have a video on that. I don't know if it's out yet. It should be. Actually, yes, it is out. If you want to go watch that, you can. That is how I stay productive and motivated with school mostly, but you could also apply this to like YouTube, I guess. Someone asked, favorite podcast or YouTubers? I have been loving podcasts recently. And by recently, I probably mean like the past year or so. I've been having a lot of long drives ever since I moved to LA. I travel a lot to Santa Barbara and to my hometown. Also, I'm using the Glossier Stretch Concealer in the shade G8. I like this concealer because it's super natural. My number one favorite podcast is Emergency Intercom. If you know who Enya Umanzor and Drew Phillips are, they used to be big on Vine and they're just like, I mean, they're still big, but that's just like how they started. I don't even know how to explain them because I'm very late to the Drew and Enya train. Like I didn't really like know anything about them until probably like a year ago. And now I am absolutely obsessed with them. I will say their sense of humor is like so specific and probably not for everyone. <laughs> I think that they're hilarious. I love them. I also love Pretty Basic with Alicia Marie and Remy Cruz. Love both of them. I'm gonna use my Glossier Solar Paint now. Anything goes with Emma Chamberlain. Those are probably my top three. I feel like I'm forgetting some. I have been starting to listen to Circle Time with Kelsey Kreppel. She just started her podcast. Me and Kelsey actually have the same birthday. All of my favorite like podcast people are also probably my favorite YouTubers. I love Aspen Ovard. Also love her sister, Avery Ovard. She is just so crazy talented. She's so good at making videos. She's always been a huge inspiration to me. Isabel Wallace, I love Isabel. I don't know, I feel like there's a bunch. There's this one YouTuber called Bachelor Fan Take and he basically just makes like the Bachelor, Bachelorette related content, which I love that show by the way. Hey guys, first of all, look where I am right now. I'm back at home for a few days for my dad's birthday and I am so happy to be here. It feels so good to be back, but I am interrupting this video to tell you guys about a very important step in my getting ready routine, which is fragrance. So thank you so much to Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. If you don't know what Scentbird is, it is a fragrance subscription service. So basically you get to try out a new designer fragrance every month for just $17. So if you're looking to start getting into fragrances, you don't know what you like, you want to discover your style or even build your own collection that you already have, Scentbird is a great place to start. It's very flexible. You can skip any month without penalties or you can upgrade to receive two to three products a month. So I have a bunch right here. So basically you get a 30 day supply. This is great because you can try out the product before you commit to buying a full bottle of something. So this size is perfect. This is how much you are getting. So if you don't know where to start, you can take Scentbird's fragrance recommendation quiz and they will help you figure out what fragrance you'll love. There are over 600 designer brands to choose from. There's perfumes, colognes, and unisex options too. They have a bunch of top designer brands like Prada, Gucci, Versace, you name it. And these vials are eight times bigger than regular perfume samples. These little vials are so handy for traveling. It has a little lock, so it's not gonna like leak on you. You just twist it and then spray. So I wanna show you guys the fragrances that I have. First I have this Versace perfume. This is the Bright Crystal Absolute. This smells amazing. So the top notes of this one are peony, raspberry, pomegranate, musk. Next we have the Burberry Brit Sheer perfume. This one has some similar notes to the last one. It has peony, musk, yuzu. I don't know what that is, but it smells delicious. Then we have the DKNY Be Delicious perfume. The top 
notes of this one are green apple, cucumber, and grapefruit. I saved my favorites for last. This one is the Confessions of a Rebel Please perfume. The top notes of this one are jasmine, sandalwood, and skin musk. And last but not least, we have the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue perfume. This one has notes of lemon, apple, cedar, bamboo, and musk. I think maybe one of my family members wears this perfume or something very similar because it's like very nostalgic to me for some reason. Make sure to click the link below and use my code KM55 for 55% off your first month. That is only about $8. Scentbird is also available in Canada. So once again, make sure to go check out Scentbird. I also do want to talk about shows that I've been watching. I've been watching The Bachelorette and that ended recently. That was a mess. I'm going to start watching Bachelor in Paradise. It premieres tonight. I'm like so bad at this right now. I'm jumping from topic to topic and I'm not even like saying what I'm doing. Okay, I used the Rare Beauty blush in Nearly Rose. Love this one. And then I like to set it with the NARS blush in the shade Orgasm. This blush gives me like a little sparkle, which I really like. Kind of looks like a lot on camera. Doesn't really look like that in person, I swear. The Kardashians also started again recently. I am like weirdly obsessed with them and that show. Tell me which one is your favorite in the comments. My favorite is Kim personally. We're both Libras. I also like Chloe a lot. Okay, next I am going to set my face. I alternate between using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder or the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Also, I'll move on from shows because I feel like I've been talking for way too long about stuff that's like not even like personal to me, but something weird that I've been watching is Dancing with the Stars. I literally just started watching it today. There's like a few people that are on it that I'm interested in watching. I haven't watched Dancing with the Stars in forever. And so just having it on, it kind of just felt like home because we would always just like have that on in the background at home. Do you plan on getting any pet in the future? Oh my God, yes. I want a cat so bad. I've been wanting a cat for a while. I almost got one this summer, but then it just like didn't work out, which I'm still so sad about, but maybe it was a sign because I feel like getting a pet is like a lot of responsibility, obviously, and I travel a lot. And so that would be just kind of difficult. I'll get a cat eventually. How's it like living in LA? Um, bad. <laughs> I don't like it personally. Literally not to be like one of those YouTuber, like social media people who's just like, oh, I hate LA, like LA sucks, all that. It's a really cool place. It's just not for me. The reason that I came here was for college. Also, I'm using the gel eyeliner by About Face Beauty. I moved here for college because I kind of just thought that this was the place that I needed to be with my job and my major. If you didn't know, I'm majoring in television, film, and media, and I am minoring in social media marketing. So if I were not in like the social media world, I would want to work in the film industry, but I feel like something that I would be good at is social media marketing. Like I don't, I'm not even sure how to explain it. More like maybe like making commercials or like cute little like advertisements or graphic design. I don't, I really just don't know. This stresses me out so much talking about it because I literally don't know what I would be doing right now if it wasn't for YouTube. I've also been getting questions about what I'm doing after college. I don't know. <laughs> that stresses me out just thinking about that too. Literally no idea. I'm just going to keep doing YouTube for as long as I possibly can because I love this job and I feel so grateful to have this job. Like this is my dream job. So I'm just going to ride this wave as long as I can and hope that it works out. <laughs> but anyways, back to living in LA. I come from a town that is just so like simple, boring, not a lot goes on, somewhat like small of a town right in the middle of California. And that is just what I'm used to. So moving to LA was just the biggest culture shock because LA is not peaceful. It is not calm. It is not like quiet. I'm not even trying to hate on LA right now at all because again, it's a cool place. There's just so much like happening here, I feel like, but it is just not for me. I realized I just like the simplicity of living in a boring place, almost not even boring. That's a bad way to explain it. But for example, I would love to move to Santa Barbara one day. It is just such like a peaceful place. And I am just so happy whenever I'm there. Maybe that's what I'll do after college. Who knows? I need to talk about something that doesn't make me so like anxious right now. Um, Someone said updated what's on my iPhone. That is not a question, but I wanted to bring that up because I ordered the new iPhone. So I will be doing a video like unboxing that and everything, setting it up. And maybe I will do like a what's on my iPhone video incorporated into that, like a unboxing slash what's on my iPhone video. Like, let me know if you guys would like that. I just used the Kosas Clear Brow Gel on my eyebrows. I used the Glossier Lash Slick Mascara. I also need to get more of this. But someone said, where is it? Why did you change your aesthetic? I don't really know like what they mean by this because I did not realize that I changed my aesthetic. Like, I don't know. People were also asking like, 
like what I would call my aesthetic. I have no idea. I like just do things that I like, wear things that I like, buy things that I like, and that's it. Like I don't, I don't know. I don't have like a label for my aesthetic. I don't know how to explain it. I just know what I like. I know what I'm inspired by. And then I just do those things. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe my aesthetic has changed because I'm just getting older and my style changes over time, if that's what you mean. Someone said, going into YouTube, what were your goals? I really did not like have many goals going into it. I think the one that I had was like hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. And I started my channel in like the very, very beginning of 2019, I want to say. But yeah, that was about it, honestly. I did not expect much to come out of it. I didn't expect to obviously like have it turn into a job that like can support me. I genuinely just had this like huge passion for YouTube and loved it so much. I just love like creating as cheesy as that sounds. I don't know. That is kind of why I majored in film. I just like have always loved this kind of stuff and have always been super inspired by the YouTubers that I would watch like growing up. This has just always been my dream job and it's just so crazy that like it came true. Whenever like I do videos on, I guess just like advice for starting a YouTube channel and stuff, I always tell you guys, don't start it for the money. Start it because you genuinely have a passion for it. You can obviously like set goals for yourself, but don't like just start it because you want to get that first paycheck. Because if you're in it for the money, most likely nothing's going to really come out of it because you're going to realize how much like time and effort goes into having a YouTube channel and maintaining it. And then you're just going to stop. But if you really love what you're doing, then you're not going to stop because you enjoy it. So if you've been wanting to start a YouTube channel, do it. Literally, it was the best decision I've ever made. Every day, I am just so grateful for my channel and for you guys who support me. I was so so worried about what people thought of me for so long that it stopped me from starting the YouTube channel way earlier than I probably would have. I've wanted to start a YouTube channel since fifth grade, but I actually did it six years later. Also, I always use a Q-tip to get the excess like mascara off of my eyelids, but then I use the other clean end to get the makeup off my lips. Now I'm gonna set my face with the e.l.f. setting spray. Someone asked when my birthday is. I'm only bringing this up because it was very recently. I actually just turned 20 on September 24th. It is actually insane to think that like I'm in my 20s now. Like, what do you mean? There's like, who let this happen? That just cannot be right. <laughs> that is just so weird to think about. Anyways, this has just always been my go-to lip combo. For a while, I was just using Benetton. I kind of just overlined my lips. I will say like, it's kind of hit or miss. Like sometimes it looks really good. Sometimes it looks a little weird. Yeah, today is not one of the days where it looks good. <laughs> I wish they made this in a shade that wasn't so like red pinkish because I recently went back to using my old lip combo over top of this and I feel like it looks so much better. First I used the Benetton, then I used the NYX retractable lip liner in the shade Natural. And I basically just do the exact same thing that I did with the Benetton. Then I go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. I actually really like how it looks just like this, but I feel like sometimes lipstick makes my lips look almost like dry. I use a lip oil after that. This one is the Dior lip oil. You could use any lip oil, it doesn't really matter. Now we're gonna do my hair. By the way, both of the things that I'm using are by the brand Hot Tools. I mean, this is just a straightener. I don't know like the name of it or anything like that. And I also have this curling wand, again, also by the brand Hot Tools. This is the curling wand specifically meant for longer hair because it's a longer barrel. Basically, I just use my straightener for these little pieces that are like close to my face, I guess. That's all I do for these pieces. I just like straighten them out because sometimes I get weird little bumps in that like area of my head. Right now, it's actually not bad. Before I keep answering questions, I'll show you guys how I curl my hair. I used to do these front pieces the exact same way I did the rest of my hair, but I've learned that whenever I do that, it looks too like ringlety and tight and I like big like loose waves. So I only really wrap it around two or three times and I leave the ends out and I kind of just like run it up and down my hair like that. So that's what the curl looks like. I'll even try to like straighten it out almost. I know some people like hold it like this while it's still hot, but I kind of do the opposite. I like when the front pieces 
are just like a big like wave on the side of your face so the front ones i like definitely do more loose than the rest of my head i just really like loose curls i love how it looks on the second day especially i am actually getting my hair done on friday to kind of just like fix it basically i have this really weird piece of hair in the front that is literally like three different colors and i feel like it literally just throws off my whole head because there's like one little blonde section that's being dramatic for sure but i don't know i feel like my hair is getting to the point where my highlights are starting to look very like brassy very orange instead of what they looked like when i first got them done which was more like blonde and cool toned i don't really know how to explain it but i just need my hair to be like touched up almost i'm gonna get it maybe like slightly darker definitely not all the way back to like my natural color but after i get it done it's just gonna be more evened out this video is probably so long <laughs> i feel like i've just been talking so much but i don't know i just like catching up with you guys and literally just hanging out like if you guys like chill videos like this where there's not like a ton going on let me know because i definitely don't always like doing super busy vlogs where there's just so much going on i feel like in these types of videos this is where i really get to like connect with you guys and you guys can just get to know me better. Someone said, how do you set up your Insta like editing and choosing pictures? I actually have basically a whole video on this. It's the work day in my life where I just show you guys like how I take my Instagram pictures. I showed you like getting ready for them, how I edit them. But yeah, so if you want to go watch that video, you can. How do you deal with social anxiety? This is a hard question because I don't even really know. I mean, there's ways that I've like learned to deal with it, but it's just hard because in the moment it's so different than like me sitting here and talking about it to you guys like I can give you all the advice in the world but then maybe when I'm actually in a situation my social anxiety gets the best of me and I freeze up or whatever you know but there are certain ways that I can like deal with it it's definitely gotten better over time especially with classes starting and me just kind of like being forced to talk to people all the time but honestly one of my biggest tips is just fake it till you make it act confident and nobody will think like oh she's just acting this way like no they'll just think that you're confident. Also, I just think about things from like the other person's perspective. Do you really think that this person is looking at you and thinking that you're being like awkward? No, they're probably worried about themselves and how they're coming across to you. Something that also really helps is thinking like, oh, these people are going to forget about this interaction within five minutes. Say you have to like present something in front of a class. These people are not like even paying attention. They're probably worried about their own presentation that they have to do after yours. And even if they are paying attention, the second that they walk out of that classroom door, they are not going to remember your presentation like stuff like that just really helps me i'm done curling my hair so now i am brushing it out i always brush out my curls after i finish my hair because i just feel like that's what actually makes it look good so that's the hair and makeup let's move on to the outfit in all honesty i'm really not getting ready for anything so i don't technically need to like change right now but why not let's put on a cute outfit i think i'm feeling a shorty suit so i have this pink little like romper type of thing from from set active these are called the shorty suits on their website and they're just so cute they make me feel so put together so i am going to put this on okay it is on i'll show you guys the full thing this thing is so cute and now the last step of my little getting ready routine is perfume you guys know about scentbird i talked about them earlier in this video the one that i am using today is the dkny be delicious perfume Oh my gosh, this stuff just smells so good. All right, well, I'm all ready for absolutely nothing. Sometimes I like getting ready for no reason though because it just makes me feel cute. And it's almost like a little act of self-care. I don't always have to have a reason to get ready and feel my best. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys liked hanging out. I feel like you guys learned so much about me today. So tell me something about yourself in the comments. I hope you have a great rest of your day or night, wherever you are, whatever time it is that you're watching this. And I will see you all soon. Bye.